Alright, so we just got back from the shop. It's been a couple hours, and we have good news and bad news. First, the good news is the truck will be done Friday. The bad news is the truck needs a clutch. So, he said the pressure plate's bad. For whatever reason, like I said, both shops pretty much dogged on the first place that put the transmission and the clutch in, saying that it was probably the worst clutch they could have put in there. Now, when I talked to him at first, um, he told me it would be slightly more than $2,000. Now he's saying $2,700. So he's putting in a uh, clutch that's gonna need to be adjusted by itself. He said maybe every 20, 30,000 miles. I feel like that's, that's kind of a lot. Uh, my brother never really has to have his clutch adjusted. Maybe he has an automatic adjusting clutch as well. So, oh no, it is what it is. We're, uh, we're at about uh, $1,300 now with uh, putting this truck back on the road. Maybe we can find something leaving Monday and uh, should be good to go then. Hopefully for a little bit longer, we can get our savings built back up again. Good thing I don't take cheap freight and um, I had a little bit of a saving saved up, so I don't know. That's trucking, I guess. Check it out, I got my hat in. I, I ordered a hat like this and a couple of beanies uh, for me and Lita. I wanted to check on the quality um, before I went to buying more and possibly uh, selling them. Which by the way, I'm still, I still haven't cashed in all the money from all the shirts and everything that people have bought. I still do plan on um, taking all the profits from all the merch that I sell and donating it to um, uh, like dog pounds and animal rescues and stuff like that. Anyways, we got the call. The truck's done. Um, he said he had to go somewhere for about an hour and just to give him a little bit. So, I'm running around, I'm gonna grab the stuff to um, mount the Starlink up. Told you guys I got the Starlink going. Um, evidently, there was just something wrong with the dish or the uh, um, modem that they sent me. So, new one's been working fantastic. Uh, did some work on the Mustang last night. I've got my door panels and these um, these new dew wipes where your this is where your windshield or your um, window rolls up and this thing kind of wipes the the water off <clears throat> so I was just riveting this on last night ran out of some rivets so I got to pick up some rivets along with some other bolts for um, the Starlink thing finally got a bunch of man I've been struggling and struggling on my trans temp I could not figure out why my trans temp wouldn't show up on my Holly dash. Turns out there was two wires that are the exact same color and I could have swore I checked and double checked. Come to find out I was using the wrong wire. And then my uh, fuel leveling sender. Um, I don't know if it ever worked when I had the car but there was, there's this little block that slides up and down that tells um, let, it, it sends ohms to the different wires and the wires run up to your dash or whatever and that tells you can program your computer to to know at what ohm how much fuel is in the tank anyways that that slider block that's in this tube over here was um was getting stuck so I had to order a new one of these you have this and then you have this block here and it's supposed to have two magnets and one of the magnets broke off but this thing slides up and down in this tube and those magnets run along this piece here and then I guess when the magnets touch those two things together in different areas 
that's what tells your computer how much fuel you have in your in your car anyway so we had to order a new one of those not a big deal um i always knew there was something funky with that but i thought it was me wiring something wrong evidently not anyways i'm gonna grab some things up we're gonna get uh ready and we are gonna go pick up the truck finally i gotta put the starlink on i don't know what else I, I put the stickers on the truck already i think i showed you guys that um i, I think that's pretty much it and uh other than loading up the truck and cleaning the truck up i got mason looking for loads for monday finally man this has been like six weeks off of work but i'll be honest with you man if if there still isn't good if there still isn't decent freight i'll still stay home again i don't care anyways see you guys in bed all right truck's done 2785 dollars i think they said something like that lead it lead it up paying for it with the check so i have no idea what it, and it was 2700 something dollars so <clears throat> we'll have to see how she runs home now truck seems to be doing fine I don't know if I mentioned or not but on my way to that shop from the house uh, the trucks AC quit working again uh, but I think it's maybe a fuse or that wire that I have running from this switch I, last year the end corroded on it and I just had to cut off a little section and then and then reclamp it again so hopefully that's it we stopped by uh, Tractor Supply before we got there. We picked up the bolts and everything to put the uh, Starlink up. So I'm probably gonna go home and work on that. And then uh, I think Lita's gonna go do some truck shopping. We're gonna clean this truck out. We meaning her. Um, switching over to basically uh, winter time. So I think we're gonna pull all of our summer clothes out put all of our winter clothes in now and uh, hopefully be able to leave out Monday. Today's Friday. Uh, me and Mason were on the board this morning looking for loads. It doesn't look great. He's thinking we might just have to deadhead from here to a better area to get out. Uh, my brother did really good this week or I should say yeah this week uh, but now he's in Michigan and I think he's dropping today or Monday. <laughs> Rona. I mean, no joke. I, I'm pretty sure we caught Rona on the boat. On the cruise. Anyways. Um, yeah, he's in like southern Michigan. He's going to be either dropping today or Monday. And they're having a hard time finding him a load out of there. Which last time he went to southern Michigan, he ended up having a dead head from Michigan down into Ohio to get out which is crazy because Michigan used to be really, used to do really good. And I guess, um, like I told my brother and Mason, the lanes that we're used to running, I, I, I don't know that we can rely on those lanes anymore. So it's, it's almost like you have to just take the, the highest paying load and hope for the best, you know? But then that can bite you in the butt too. I mean, you gotta put some restrictions on that. You can't take like the highest paying load going to Colorado because no matter what, you're probably dead heading out of Colorado. So anyways, we're almost home. I'm going to uh, get to work on the Starlink. I bought some aluminum uh, nut rivets uh, to go into the back of the fiberglass and then some bolts to go into the nut rivets. And I'll show you guys the bracket. It's just your normal bracket. I think people usually stick them on RVs or trucks to put those globes on top of them that they use in, uh, for 
different things, Qualcomm's and uh, uh, those uh, globe dishes and stuff like that. I ended up finding that pretty cheap on Amazon for like for like 50 bucks. And then the, I don't know if I mentioned the Starlink, the little aluminum housing, uh, it was like 500 bucks. But here's the crazy thing. I bought that aluminum thing to put my Starlink in because you used to be able to drive down the road and your Starlink would, quit, would keep working. But like right after I bought that aluminum housing, uh, Starlink put out a thing that says they're stopping you from being able to drive down the road and use Starlink. So, man, I'm I'm just bad luck. No matter what I do, it just comes it just comes around on me. So, but I mean, it is what it is. We don't really need it going down the road, other than uploading videos or like lead assigning Raycons and and looking for loads and stuff like that. Um, I guess what happens is it doesn't work if you're going faster than. Uh, five no what they say 10 or 15 mile an hour I can't remember all right we are home all right so bad news already so these are the aluminum nut certs that I bought um, And I don't have a fitting that fits this properly. All mine are metric and I didn't realize all of them were metric. I'm not gonna have time to order the tool. Um, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is I found a bolt that's the right thread and then I stuck a washer on and then I got a nut on here that doesn't actually fit this bolt. It's just gonna be there for me to hold on to so what happens is as this gets pulled in it squeezes it see if I can show you the difference here as this bolt tightens into this it takes this collar and pinches it up against this which um, allows you to just put a bolt, run you a bolt anywhere you need. Usually in a place where you can't get back and put a nut on. So what I've come up with, and I hope it works, is if I take, I'll take this one off. And I stick this on and we'll imagine that I've drilled the hole in the back of the truck already. And this is, this is in the truck. This is hard up against the truck wall right here on the outside. So I'll run this in. I'm only gonna drill one hole and try this. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to see if I can go find, um, See if one of my buddies has maybe the the tool so my plan is I'm gonna take and hold this like this and then we'll run this in without knocking the camera over and you should be able to see see how that that brought that collar in and that's supposed to pinch between the two pieces of of whatever you're trying to nut rivet. My uh, my concern is, am I gonna be able to get this back out? I'm hoping once that's pinched in there, that I'll be able to back this bolt out. And this not spin on the fiberglass. So I don't know, I'm gonna drill one hole. We've got, um, this is the back plate for it. So this will be the plate. Yeah, this will be the plate that goes up against the wall. And then you have Let's see if I can set this thing up here. So that'll be up against the back of the wall. And then you have this piece 
that comes off of this and they give you multiple holes to make this level depending on the back of your truck and then this I got to take these feet off these are for an RV you can just bolt it to the top of an RV somehow but then we'll take this and bolt that to this like that but I got to make sure I can get these nut rivets in before I go any further so I'm just using some masking tape to mark all these holes we'll transfer this masking tape over to this that way all of our holes are perfectly lined up I plan on using these out corner holes because I already stuck this on here and these out corner holes line up perfectly with this right here so I'll just mark these outer corner holes here transfer this over here and we'll drill some holes Three eighths, so I'll leave two out. like that check that out just like that it worked all right so what I think I'm gonna do because I don't trust those markings now because this moved around on me so much when I was marking it I'm going to go ahead and Our first bolt in let's see this will go like this that'll go here we're gonna put our first bolt in 
and then drill pilot holes from there. Snug this one down. Swap this with that. Make sure this is plumb. Got that hole then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put another another nut cert right here and I'll put two bolts that way I don't have to worry about this thing moving around on me and we'll get the rest of these drilled in And that takes forever. check it out we got that base plate up there now I'm gonna grab that piece we'll hold it up there and uh, get that thing bolted up there See, and then the uh, the cable for the dish comes out of this arm right here. So I wanted to bring it over and we'll run it down just like this. I got some new stick on clips in the house that we'll run the new wire with. Like I said, obviously we'll probably take that off. I don't know, maybe we'll leave it on. I mean, it does help, it just looks like crap. So I just got to, uh, I forgot to get lock washers for these. I'm gonna go grab some Loctite. I wanna Loctite these on, and then we should be good to go. All right, we are all done. I've already drew, uh, ran a speed test on it. We are getting uh, like 129 down, 30 up, I believe, and we've got this tree in the way. Uh, yeah, I mean, what more can you ask for? I end up having to just bring it down. I'm going to zip tie this line to this line here. Um, I end up having to drill another hole in here for the wire to come up and we just ran it up. I'm gonna put the modem up there, kind of where the uh, computer goes. Lita's in here cleaning up my mess. Check out this crazy, oh, it's dark in here, babes. Working hard. Mason's calling on a load. We might be picking up two day cabs in Tallahassee. Going to, uh, I don't even remember where it's going, honestly. I have no idea. So, stickers still look good. I need to check this other one where I boogered this other one up. I'm afraid that if I get this thing washed, If they pressure wash right here, it's gonna be an issue. Man, I really hate that. Still looks good though. I'm still happy with it. That white really shows you how not white the truck is. Well, 
Well, it's Sunday. We got the truck back Friday. We got the Starlink mounted. We got our stickers on. And we are gonna head to Alabama. Mason found us a load. We're supposed to be picking up uh, two day cab Volvos that are running over to Mississippi. Um, in the description, it says that they're brand new. We booked the load and then they're like, you might need a winch. And we're like, we don't, we don't have a winch. They're like, uh, <clears throat> all right, we'll go see if they'll start. I'm like, see if they'll start. It says brand new trucks. Come to find out, they're like 2000, uh, a 2002 and a 2003, I think. And they won't start. They said that they won't start and the brakes won't release. And I was thinking, yeah, if it doesn't start, the brakes won't release. So I told him, I said, I guess we have to uh, cancel this load. And uh, they said, let me see what we can do. Uh, and they've hired a wrecker. They've hired two wreckers. They've hired one wrecker to load us and they've hired another wrecker to unload us. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna turn into a big deal. And I hope the wrecker can maybe just come out. I mean, honestly, I could probably jump the trucks off, but if they wanna pay a wrecker and waste money, so be it. I'll let the guy come out, maybe jump the trucks off. Maybe we can go ahead and drive them up on the trailer and, and, and drive them off. And we won't have to worry about, because I don't know how a tow truck's gonna, uh, a wrecker's gonna put it on there. Anyways, that's what we got. We're picking up two day cab Volvos. We're going to leave tonight. Um, that way we're there first thing in the morning, ready to, to load. Pretty much got the truck completely packed. Lita is in the house cooking us dinner. We're gonna eat some spaghetti before we go. That's weird, every time I talk about food, it's like we eat spaghetti a lot, I guess. It's so good though. Anyways, Lita's finishing cooking. And then, um, I think we'll be good to go. I think we have about a three hour deadhead to get there. It's a decent rate. It, 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 would be, it would be an amazing rate if we were already in Alabama after deadhead. It, it's still good, it's still above three bucks a mile, but it kinda sucks that uh, we have to deadhead. But it is what it is. You guys know I've been saying it a million times, freight's really slow right now, so nothing I can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it other than not going out and buying a new truck. So anyways, we'll check on Lita making some dinner and um, gave the doggies a bath. So they're good to go. That's your plate. Oh, plate's done. It's kind of bright, uh, dark in here. We got fat butts. Are you ready to go bye-byes, babies? Huh? Lita making some spaghetti. Are you cooking spaghetti for everybody? Uh, yeah, I guess. Or is this for us to take? Because I think they went and got stuff for sandwiches. Yeah. Or Sloppy Joe's. Yeah. All right. Let's get this down. We'll see you guys later. All right. We're finally back on the road. We're loaded up. It's uh, about 7 o'clock at night now. Uh, GPS says we have about three hours to get there. She put us there like 10. We told them that uh, we'd be there ready to load first thing at 8 o'clock. So that's the plan for that. You know what's crazy though? Is this will be the first time we pick up going west from the house, right? Yeah. We've never picked up and gone west from the house. Normally we have to go north first and then west. So that's kind of exciting because that means we get to bypass Atlanta again. <laughs> so it's just, it's gonna shoot us down to the 10 and over. Uh, we're picking up in Geneva, Alabama. So, and like I said, I really hope we can get these trucks started and we don't, I mean, I don't know how they would winch it on the truck. Maybe that would still be the best way to do it, but I don't know. So anyways, we're on the road three hours to get there um, we'll see you guys in a bit how you doing
doing? Supposed to be picking up two semi trucks in the morning here. Two semi trucks? Yes, in the sir. Morning? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you want to load them on now? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you'll just have to wait until the morning. Are they um rider trucks or? You know which ones they are? Supposed to be uh, there's supposed to be three Volvo trucks, but I'm only getting two of them. Oh, you're getting our old messed up trucks. Mason found us a load. We're supposed to be picking up uh, two day cab Volvos that are running over to Mississippi. Um, in the description, it says that they're brand new. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah no there's going to be a record that's going to be meeting us here to load them for us. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Well, if you want to come in and just park over, um, park over in the back over here sure. and just wait until morning, they'll, they'll, they won't be in until then. Right, I understand that. Oh, no problem. That is all right. Yes, sir. Okay. Sure. South Georgia Hot Shots. 